a bunch of friends of mine have asked me about the gutter sucker after I mentioned on Facebook that I was building one. So here is the video that shows you how it worked and how I built it. The gutter sucker is basically made out of three five foot sections of two inch PVC pipe. This allows you to break it down and store it much easier than having it be one long pipe. The first section of the gutter sucker is a 10 inch section of pipe, which at the tip I cut with a miter box at 45 degrees. So you are allowed to stand a little bit out from your gutters as opposed to directly below them. For suction relief on the bottom of the gutter, when you get it cleaned out, I notched it three times with a Dremel tool. The snoot or 10 inch section goes into a 45 degree elbow and then a 3.75 section of pipe and then a 90 degree elbow and then you start your descent down with your next sections of pipe. All of this stuff is connected and secured with PVC cement. In the YouTube videos that I watched, one guy used grade 20 pipe, which I would have loved to have been able to do because it would be lighter, but I couldn't figure out how to find it here locally. But the one thing that I didn't see that anybody else did was to use these male and female connectors. And this just made it so much easier to put together and break apart. So now that you have the gutter sucker built, you have to attach it to a shop vac. I have a two inch hose on my shop vac. So I attached the shop vac to the gutter sucker with a two inch by four inch rubber flexible connector. Wow, look at all that stuff we got out of the gutters. The gutter sucker worked great. It took us about an hour to clean out the severely clogged gutters. I think the first rule is don't wait as long as I did to clean out your gutters. And second of all, the gutter sucker was about a $30 way to clean out your gutters and not have to climb up on the house. <laughs> 